Hey guys, it's Janice. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to try to film this video really fast because it is a long one. This is going to be my December wrap up. Um, I just want to kind of get into it really quickly. So today's the 30th. I still could read a little bit more today and tomorrow, but I don't anticipate finishing anything else. So the first thing I read this month was The Sorcerer's Stone. I gave that a five stars. Obviously great book. The next thing I read is You're Never Weird on the Internet. Maybe if you watched my top five Wednesday video, you know that this is my favorite book of 2015. I loved it. Five stars. I love Felicia Day. I love learning about her life. I thought it was so much fun and she's such an interesting person. Um, the next thing I read was Bossy Pants. I gave this four stars. I really liked Tina Fey. I thought the story was fun. I didn't, I guess I didn't relate to it as much as I did with the Felicia Day one. So I just, I liked it, but I didn't love it. Um, the next thing I read was Yes, Please by Amy Poehler along the same same lines. I liked it. I didn't love it. I didn't even like it as much as the Tina Fey one. In fact, I felt more like dislike towards Amy Poehler after like reading this book. There's a part where she's she says, you know, I like my porn like I like my comedy done by professionals. And I think that that's like so rude because she was an amateur at one point. She runs like a improv school and I just thought that was crazy a crazy like comment I don't know it just rubbed me the wrong way and it's always like that one little thing that can like really throw me off um but I still love it I still love Amy Poehler I still love Parks and Recreation so you know I dug it um, I then read Chamber of Secrets which I again gave a five stars I read The Whale Still Letters by Mark Z. Danielewski I also gave that a five stars this is the companion book to House of Leaves it is Johnny Truant's mother who is writing Johnny Truant from a mental hospital she a mental institute she has like like I'm not really certain schizophrenia maybe no I don't know anything about mental disorders uh so I can't really say but I know that at one point she really distrusts the like main man and the place where she's staying and uh and she believes that like the guy that she trusted for so long and who treated her so well was fired and there was like a new head of the place and it turns out to have been the same guy the whole time and so that's just kind of like a, an idea of her mental state and um there's so much more I could tell you about this book but it was beautiful the letters were beautiful she was such a poet um I know she's not a real person but uh, I just thought it was a really interesting character and I really enjoyed the book. Uh, the next thing I read was Persepolis. I also gave that five stars. I just read Persepolis 1. I haven't read the second one yet, but I'm really looking forward to it. I really loved the story. I thought it was interesting and heartbreaking. And those are things that I'm... Heartbreaking stuff. Totally into it. So I don't know. Um, the next thing I read was Prisoner of Azkaban. Five stars. Then I read The Inc Incredible Adventures of Cinnamon Girl and I gave that four stars. I liked it. I thought it was a fun, interesting story. I meant to do a whole video about it. I received this free from NetGalley to review and maybe at some point I will put up a review video, but I think that I've let too much time really go since reading it to really tell you too much about it. But it is basically about a girl who lives in a town in Australia and in that town like a man has said the world's going to end and this town is going to be the only place to survive so people kind of like flock there and it's like an end of the year type end of the world type giant party situation and her life continues around that um and it's it, it was very interesting i like the characters uh the next thing i read was cinder by marissa meyer and i know i haven't said like who everything is by really that much through this video but i gave out a five stars i really loved it i cannot wait to read the rest of it i'm not going to start scarlet I mean, it's the 30th at this point, but I'm not going to start it until the beginning of the year anyway. Um, and actually, probably in February or March, depending on how quickly I get through. If you watch my reading resolution video, I'm trying to only set a goal of three books a month to read. So if I get the first two done, then of course I will, you know, pick something else up. But I'm not give, giving like these myself these big TBRs each month, basically. Um, the next thing I finished was The Widow by Fiona Barton. This is another book I got from NetGalley to review. It I wish I knew when it came out exactly, but it's sometime in 2016. I gave it a four stars. Um, it's kind of like a suspenseful thriller mystery type thing. Um, it's very slightly along the lines of Gone Girl and The Girl on the Train, which are both really popular in like the genre. Um, it's a little bit different. It follows a widow whose husband just died and he was suspected of kidnapping a little girl. So it kind of follows, it jumps back between present and past to kind of piece together what happened. Um, 
if he was really responsible for the kidnapping and potential death of this little girl um, and uh, what led to his death and whatnot. I really liked it. I, I think the thing that I'm really enjoying most about these um, type of books with the girl on the train and Gone Girl is that there are no characters that I really empathize with or like. I kind of despise all of the characters. In this book, the only character that I even had any kind of like like towards was the cop um, who is investigating this crime just because he's really driven and, you know, he really wants to find the little girl, wants to find who hurt her, you know, who took her or whatever. And I, I really enjoyed his character, but the rest of them I thought were all like, even the widow, they're all like, not like not good, not not bad characters, but like not good people. Um, and I didn't care for any of them. Uh, but not in a, I didn't like their characters. I just and t like it was a good thing to not like them is what I'm trying to say. The next thing I read was Armada by Ernest Klein. I gave that a three stars. I was really, I give that a three star rating. I was really anticipating reading this book and it's really hard for me to describe because I've tried to describe how I feel about it, but it's just like, I don't know. Like say you write a book and I write a book where everything in your book happens in my book. And I'm like, yeah, that totally happened in so-and-so's book but this is real life. And that's how it is. Like, like he's plagiarizing all these other things. And he's like, yeah, it happened in this movie, but this is real life now. And I hated it. And I know that a lot of people had that same issue with like Ready Player One. But with Ready Player One, it was easier to like accept it because there's a video game world and say like you're playing Minecraft, you can recreate real life things or other fiction things in Minecraft because you're building it. It's a video game. So it's it was kind of easier to accept that it was like in this video game, but in Armada, like this was supposed to be the real world. And he was saying, you know, there's a swastika on the moon of you know, Europa or whatever. And this hap that happened in this book and that's crazy. You know, maybe they got the idea from the book or something like that. It was just like, or maybe the book got the idea from this discovery. I don't know. It was just really weird and I didn't like it. Uh, the next thing I read, that's it for the books. Those are all the books I read. And the next thing is the comic books I read this week the comic books I read this month, which was hardly anything. I read the first trade paperback of Odyssey and I gave it a four stars. I had a hard time getting into it, but I was reading it very fractured. Like I would read like a page and then take a phone call at work and then read another page. So it was really hard for me to kind of like make it make sense in my head. Um, also another problem I had with it was the color palette changed from like page to page and panel to panel. Um, but like the scene wasn't changing so it would be like I don't know like I'm here in this like orange sweater thing and then I'm in a blue sweater and you know it was just really weird and when it since it was drawn that way it was hard for me to tell like is this the same character that it was you know I don't know it's kind of difficult but it, basically it is a gender bent kind of odyssey retelling um where all the gods and everybody is a female except for there's one dude uh and it was really interesting and i enjoyed it after a while after i reread it and then the next thing that i read or the last thing i read this month was deadly class number 10. the new issue of deadly class came out last week and i was really sold by the solicit and i have to see so bad right now but that's why i'm like Ugh. but anyway i was really sold by the solicit and um and so i really wanted to catch up on the series and i was like yeah I'm, i pulled them all out and you know i read the first one and then i didn't read any of the other ones but it was really interesting so uh the main character i can't think of his name right now but he cheats on his girlfriend with another one of the girls at his school and then he has to go to this big comic book sale at his job and then he shits his pants okay so he thinks he has to fart and he's like hey check this out to like a guy next to him and he like shits his pants but it's like a big mess he doesn't have anything to do and there's only like there's only, like no toilet, toilet paper or something like that and there's just like one shirt in the bathroom and he like uses it and his boss walks in and he's like that's my shirt and he gets fired uh and then they have to like go and attack these guys but then like it turns out that they were kind of like ambushed like the guys knew they were coming so they weren't there when they snuck in and then they snuck in on them or whatever and the girl that cheated with the main character uh she's like about to be killed and then the girlfriend busts in 
and it's instead of like it's like a cliffhanger but instead of sh saving her she's like you slept with him didn't you and then it's like what's gonna happen now and so I'm really interested it's very exciting like I know I told you everything but that's just one issue and I mean there was so much more you know but the shitting part was hilarious <laughs> um but it was a really good issue and I just got distracted right now I'm, I'm really into crocheting so anything that's not an audiobook is really hard for me to give my time to so like I'm listening right now to the Goblet of Fire because I can crochet and listen to that at the same time but anyway what did you read this month I'm really interested in knowing I'm so pleased with the amount of reading I've done the last two months and I really hope to be able to follow that trend into 2016. Like I said, I'm only planning on setting myself a three book goal, but I'm hoping to get those three books out of the way really fast and then start on other stuff. So that is the plan. Um, thank you for watching. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. Follow me on Tumblr, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, I already said thank you for watching, but thank you again for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.